Like that's the great thing about poker is like literally every hand is different. You have different opponents with different stack sizes and those stack sizes change every hand and the cards change every hand and the board changes every hand. Everything changes every hand and people's emotions change every hand. So you just like, there is no one way to play pocket jacks. Like you have to adapt to every single hand and look at people's emotions and their stack sizes and how those emotions might change as their stacks go up and down or you know, if it seems like they're like texting furiously with their girlfriend, like that might change things or, you know, there's just, uh, or maybe they just got their food order delivered and they're eating, you know, and no one's going to get a fresh plate of food and look down at, you know, six, five suited under the gun and be like, well, I got to play this hand. You know, they're going to take a bite of their, their hot food, you know, just always look and see what's going on around you and pay attention to all the information that is coming in and try to process it in a way that will help you make better decisions. I mean, there's a lot of great resources out there for short stack play. Uh, my friend Max Silver de developed a Snapshove uh, application where it can help you train to uh, figure out what hands you're supposed to shove in which positions at what stack sizes and um, that's just a great way to um, help train yourself to know immediately, like, all right, this is the type of hand that I'm just supposed to go all in with, with uh, 10 big blinds or 15 big blinds or 20 big blinds, or one big blind, you know? Uh, that's just a way to plug easy leaks, like, uh, that, that you shouldn't have in your game. Like, that aspect of poker is relatively solved, especially um, for uh, blind versus blind situations. <laughs> When you make it in the money, you got to look at the uh, percentage payouts for the top three positions usually. Because sometimes, you, if you, especially if you're in a really big field, maybe the first place only pays 10%. And that's like very, very gradual pay jumps. So you just want to play kind of tight if you're not one of the chip leaders and just try to ladder up a little bit. But if you're in a tournament where first place pays a huge percentage of the prize pool, like you want to be the guy to win that that first place prize like and that's this type of thing where you just got to get in there and maybe gamble a little bit and uh, try to win the tournament plus there's the extra glory of winning so you know get in there try to win it it's fun i recommend it. <laughs>